Hello ladies and gentlemen. In this video I want to discuss a topic of increasing your pain tolerance. Pain is something that you will experience in trading. Um, you will experience a great deal of it and if you trade um, day trading you will experience it on a daily basis. Every time that you take a loss you will experience pain. Every time that the market does not get to your profit target and you are stopped out in profit you will experience pain. Every time that you are in drawdown, you will experience pain. The only way in which you can improve your trading over time is to increase your pain tolerance. The manners in which I uh, attempt to increase my pain tolerance are as follows, and these are my recommendations to you. Number one, in trading, always allow your stops to be hit. Do not move them except to tighten them. Your initial stop should be the greatest amount of risk that you are willing to take on a trade. Sometimes it will be hit, sometimes it will not. As the market moves into your direction, you will move the stop and then you will allow it to be hit and you will feel a momentary cling of pain as the market did not reach your objective you will then again feel pain if the market reaches your objective without you. All of these things are going to bring you pain. The only way that you can do this professionally and as a career and have staying power is to increase your pain tolerance. Some methods that I use to increase pain tolerance are as follows. Number one, weightlifting and exercise. When you weight lift, over time you should be experiencing or attempt to experience something called progressive overload, meaning that over time, in order to build more muscle on the muscle fiber that you already have, you must tear it. It must be torn down. So you must increase the amount of weight that you are using uh, to weight lift with. Okay? It is the same thing with your cardiovascular system. If you wish to increase your O2 or your lung capacity, your oxygen capacity, you must push yourself at certain times beyond your comfort zone. So going for sprints, going for uh, swimming, swimming is probably the most cardiovascular intense exercise that you can do. Swimming a little bit more than you did before, walking a little bit farther than you did before, getting out in the hot sun and tolerating heat for longer than you had before, use sunscreen. The other method that you can increase your pain tolerance that I use and that is available to most of you is cold exposure. Ice on the back of the neck, ice on your lower back, cold water exposure will increase your pain tolerance over time. Also, martial arts, boxing, jiu-jitsu, wrestling. If you are judo, If you've ever trained judo, the first few times that you are going to get thrown, uh, you're going to have to use, get used to falling, being thrown. Um, in jiu-jitsu, you're going to have to, use, have to be, get used to a great deal of pain, a lot of smothering pain, uh, constriction of your airway, uh, choking. And in boxing, you'll have to get used to being hit, concussive force. Over time, your body will acclimate to the pain. And it is the same way with trading. Over time, if you increase your pain tolerance, being stopped out on an initial stop or on a trailing stop won't feel like much to you at all. But to get there, you must constantly increase and work on your pain tolerance. The simplest method that I can advise you to increase your pain tolerance is cold exposure. So take a bag of ice, put it on the back of your neck, put it on your lower back, or go take a cold shower. You are doing these things because you are purposely trying to uh, feel essentially harmless uh, pain in order to increase your pain tolerance, which you will need for trading. You will absolutely need a great deal of pain tolerance, okay? You will need it. And so in your life, you should try and find ways that you can experience pain that does not physically injure you too much. 
So martial arts, um, weightlifting, cold exposure. Um, also, I recommend meditation and prayer. Um, many of you that are constantly looking at your phones or your screens, obviously I look at a screen a lot, right? Uh, you have to, to day trade. Um, you might feel a great deal of discomfort in quiet meditation. No electronics, um, maybe guided meditation at first. You will feel some sort of pain uh, from disconnect, and that's a good thing for you. You will need it, okay? So trading requires a great deal of pain tolerance, of increasing your pain threshold, and in order to do that, meditation, cold exposure, weightlifting, um, martial arts, uh, heat exposure, and cardiovascular, so cardio, cardio exercise as well. Also, fasting, so going for periods of time without food. Many of you are going to use food as a comforting tool. Um, you might take losses in trading and then go, like I have before, go buy a bunch of junk food uh, because it's a comfort. Uh, you will need to learn not to do that. Um, and so fasting is, is another way to increase your pain tolerance. Um, I, I'm not recommending anything other than water fasting. I'm not saying deprive yourself of water, but you can deprive yourself of food, of calories. Okay, fasting. Fasting is another way that you can um, increase your pain tolerance over time. Also, learning to stop trading. Okay, which, again, if you know you are trying over time to increase your pain threshold in order to prevent your impulses from taking over and making the situation much worse. Okay, so if you blow a funded account or if you blow a simulated account or you blow a live account, learn to take the day off. It's going to feel terrible. Uh, it's going to feel absolutely terrible to step away. That is another way that you are training yourself to increase your pain tolerance. You will also train yourself, I do not want to do that again. I always want to be able to trade. In order to do that, I need to preserve my capital. And so therefore, as I've, said, as I've mentioned before, you must learn to deprive yourself of the screen as well. So those are some of the methods. There are others to increase your pain tolerance. Um, Trading is, in many ways, pain. No matter how successful you are, you will always want more. Um, there is not an end to how much you will want. And in order to get there, in order to be able to take on a, a vast amount of trades, uh, you, will need to, you will need to increase that pain tolerance. So those are some of the ways that I recommend to you to increase your pain threshold. Uh, just to recap one more time. Uh, fasting, cold exposure, meditation, it's time away from your phone screens and stimulation. Okay, some of that, that might be very uncomfortable for some of you to get away from stimulation like, like your phone. Okay, um, we talked about that, we talked about weightlifting, we talked about martial arts, uh, talked about cardio exercise, we talked about allowing your stops to be hit so that you feel that pain, you expect the pain, okay, you just saw that my stop was hit and it's now going to my target. And I feel a little bit of pain with that, right? But it is what it is. I'm not going to re-enter the market now that it's coming down to my target unless I see another uh, entry mechanism, okay? So these are some of the ways that you increase the pain tolerance. Um, guys, I know that some of my videos are not always going to be the most popular, but I am trying to be as real and as raw with you as I possibly can. Um, I'm not trying at this point. I'm not saying I'm against it, but I'm not trying to sell you anything at this point. I'm not trying to uh, pretend to you like this is easy. There is a reason why 90% uh, or 95% of day traders fail. You are up against the hardest competition in the absolute world. Okay? The financial markets, you are up against a shark infested waters, and they are not interested in you succeeding. And the things that you learn from your broker and from Discord and from social media are all wrong. And you must run far away from what those people are telling you. It is not easy um, at all. Uh, it will take a great amount of pain. And 
that's all I can tell you for right now, guys. So this has been my video on pain tolerance. Bye.